Hello and welcome to this new Power BI Tips video. Today we are going to discuss various tips around you know copy pasting data from Power BI to Excel, Excel to Power BI, and how can you paste data correctly to Power BI community posts. So let's start. So the very first way is that you know we want to copy data from Power BI to the Excel. So what we are going to do, we are going to go to this data transformation mode which is edit data and let's take a table we have this table uh, geography table and we right click on it copy we go to excel sheet we paste it we got one column okay what happen if we need the complete table go back here you have copy entire table come back paste it you got the complete table okay control down you got the complete table. I say delete. I say control, control A and delete. I pasted it a couple of times. Okay. Now, what happens if the table is bigger? So I go ahead and say copy entire table. And this is where you will find one difference that if I go scroll down, it is only showing thousand rows. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we can actually go ahead and scroll a bit keep on scrolling and you know, till you get the thousand record but this is not a very efficient way of copying uh, in excel but just for you to show that you can copy more than thousand rows i just scroll down and i have now this available i say copy entire table and then i go back delete this control home paste control end i have more rows okay very good i can actually uh, get my complete data in this manner very good now i do a copy from here table copy table i'm doing here and i have another excel file another power bi file which i've already opened which is empty power bi file and here you can see zero queries this is untitled if i go here and i paste here i get the my complete table and you see all my steps are also copied and i say close and apply and th this is because we wanted to test how many things have come down this come back to because we are in edit query it came to this one but we can go to the untitled one and you can see this is uh, this has come pretty well out here and then look at the sales table and if you look scroll down if you don't need to scroll down you I can see there are uh, rows which are 38,000 rows which actually I have in my system so I have all 38,000 rows. Very good. So copy table from Power BI to Power BI, no challenge. So we covered a topic how to get it from, uh, get it to Excel and get it to Power BI. So two things. Now third thing is that, you know, what we are going to do is, this is what you can do both in edit query mode as well as outside the edit query mode, is that you can go to enter data and go to any excel i have already opened one excel and see there are headings to this one there is no heading here and i see, go ahead and paste it it has taken the headings and it has taken the data type also we are going to check that out we say okay and this table is loaded and if you took look at the data type it is actually taken the correct data type finally okay go back say close and apply and we can go here so this is our third item which we have covered we can do here and there's no difference even if i come here in uh, here in the home tab and i do enter data here and if i want to do copy paste and if i say load there would be no difference so the table two which is going to be created out here is that it's going to have the same data now this copy paste which we have done from one pbix to another pbix there is a video from guys in the cube i'm going to give link below where you can you can go and view various ways there's a five minute video you should go and watch that now we come to the fourth tip now what happens this is specifically for you who use power bi community uh, either for posting or either for giving solutions so how to do give the data correctly so i already created a demo post and i tested this out so let's say I try to reply to this topic, okay? And I want to share some data, user has asked for the data. The ideal way is that you give some sample data to the users. So this is my Excel. And from Excel, I'm copying it. And I go and say, test Excel data. 
and I actually pasted it and you can see that this table is getting posted correctly and I'm going to post it. So I'm able to post the data from Excel and now can we do same from Power BI, okay? So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have this data and there is one more option out here which is copy copy table and we are going to say another reply we are going to say edit and we are going to paste it from power bi and let's observe the difference and the why the reason why am i i'm asking you that we are copying pasting from power bi and you will see that this first column which is header column is not coming correctly if you are pasting it from directly from power bi so what would happen like you have posted i want to take it back so what is what are the ways i have so if i want to take it back i'm not going to get a header complete header so i'm going to take this excel data and that's a better one right now seems to be so one way is i can copy paste this in excel and then upload the excel so i can go here in excel and actually paste it simple and load it to power bi no need of that also we can actually go here and we can say on the home tool we can go and say enter data and i'm this time taking from html page simple paste it another table created load so directly we have taken from the uh, a post which is there and we are able to create and now we can solve the problem and if you have been supplied with data you can actually uh, paste it from Excel but best option is paste it on Excel from Power BI and then paste it back to the um, community but headers will not get copied if you paste tables from Power, uh, Power BI so you need to be a bit careful about that so now what we are going to do is we are going to do one more thing which is the fifth item of the day which is basically let's do one more stuff let's see how what happens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do is I go to this data edit transformation I'll I've by mistake gone to data transformation I close it I go to edit data source set and this is my file where is this file so this is somewhere in templates okay this is the file fine I'm going to rename it underscore old okay now it means my source is lost close refresh not loading okay very good I want to copy the data and this is what happened with me I actually have a data imported from a database and I lost the database that's what very good uh, data which has been created for demo purpose by my team and I actually lost it okay go to transformation transform data we have seen we can copy data from here but the moment you go down scroll down you will see that you will not be able to copy more than thousand rows because the only rows which are coming here is thousand and once I reach thousand it will not allow me to scroll it is going to give me one more error that's not able to get the source see one more error no source is available fine okay no option to copy from here more than thousand rows but there is an option you go here and this is the file which is having 30,000 out rows this is the table sales table I'm going to right click on this I'm going to say copy table and I'm going to go to Excel, create an altogether new sheet. I'm going to paste it here. Just wait, it is going to take a bit of time. Give this data on the new Excel sheet. And you have complete 30,000 rows here. 36,000 exactly I have. I'm able to copy paste. So even if my source is lost, and that is very important even if your source is lost and it is in import mode you can copy the complete table and I've copied more than 36,000 rows here and I've tested it with 300k rows the data which I lost was around 36k rows and I was able to copy it back and I created a retail file if I will be able to show to you so I got this retail file created update back from there so this is really useful uh, to get your data copy pasted across uh, so use these tips and try to see if you can take better advantage of copy paste stuff 
and if you have further more questions you want us to create a video on specific topics please let us know